Some of you get it, but most people still see this machine as a plain surface grinder. Anyone who is familiar with grinding has seen a standard single point dresser, which dresses the wheel perfectly flat. This is for regular surface grinding or creep feed grinding. And if you've seen our American flag video, then you already know that this machine is capable of grinding profiles such as the wave that was on the flag. We also did a video where we dressed a series of grooves in the wheel with our roll dresser that's mounted on the table. Well, in that video, we seen a lot of comments where people were more interested in the roll dresser than what I was actually grinding. So we're gonna build on that and take it a step further and show you what we call a disc dresser, which is gonna give you complete versatility and allow you to grind a multitude of shapes. So with that, let's get in the machine and check it out. So this is the disc dresser mounted onto our rotary. You can see we have it mounted on the same arbor as our roll. Now disc dressers come in several different styles. This one in particular has a 90 degree edge on one side and a 30 degree on the other. And it obviously has hundreds of diamonds around the outside. Now in our previous video when we use this roll form dresser, you've seen the wheel come straight down on the top, dress the entire profile all at once but the disc dresser is essentially gonna work like a turning tool on a lathe, where it's gonna create multiple roughing passes and then a finishing pass for whatever shape that you have programmed. The only thing you have to watch for is that the shape that you have programmed doesn't interfere with the shape of the disc. So I have this shape programmed and ready to go in the machine, and we're gonna dress this into our wheel using our disc dresser. So now we got our profile dressing in our wheel. It's time to get our material put in our vise. For this ground, we're using 4140. We've got it mounted in our vise because we don't have a lot of surface contact and we're gonna be getting after it pretty good. So before we get started, I'm gonna call my boy Chris over and get his seal of approval. Let's get grinding. Yeah. I do it like Ben. I don't want it on the bottom. And we're gonna show you what 98% of people out, damn it. program we're running is going to take three equal passes at a hundred thousandths each for a total of three hundred thousandths. After removing that much material, it's going to start loading that wheel up. So we need to open it back up by coming over and redressing the wheel. We're also going to lose a little bit of shape of our wheel. So by redressing, we will renew that shape that we originally had in our wheel. All right, so now we got our wheel redressed coming back and taking another hundred thousandths off. We need to take a total of six hundred thousandths in order for this to get a full cleanup. So what we're going to do is go down to five hundred ninety-five thousandths, come back and do a final redress on the wheel, and then take the last five thousandths as, as a finish base. Alright, with that we've taken a half inch off. We'll take one more at ninety-five thousand. last pass after our final dressing cycle. For the last dressing cycle, I slowed the feed rate down so we could get a better finish on our part. It's going to close the wheel up a little bit, but we're only going to take 5,000 so we don't have to have a super open wheel. Guys, our part came out perfect. I really wouldn't expect anything different from this machine. Material it will came through, and hopefully you're seeing by now that with the disc dresser, the possibilities are endless. So you can do things like custom press brake dies, fir tree profiles, brooches. There's all kinds of things that you can do here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a thing. We'll see y'all next time.